Hi guys, happy new year. Hope you've had a great start to your year and that everybody is treating you nicely. And if people aren't treating you nicely sometimes, that that is just a reflection of themselves and how they're doing, especially if it's something mean said to you that isn't said very often, but if it's said pretty often, you may want to take a look at that. And in the yoga practice, this is something that we learn how to do through our flow state, moving with breath um, in a moving meditation. And the year for me has been pretty interesting. Um, I've had three broken ribs for about two months and I just took my five days off from doing uh, handstands and only doing restorative yoga classes. And today's my first day um, practicing hard vinyasa and hand balancing. The other, those other days I was still doing my meditation practices, my breathing practices, all the way from holding my breath for three minutes to breathing, breathing in and out uh, pretty fastly uh, through my nose. So like all kinds of different levels. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to make this video and let you know that if you are on one side of the tree, which is you practice a lot and you practice really hard and you're not noticing much growth in your practice, that it might be a good idea to take uh, a few days off um, from which that is that you do practice, even if it's a sport or uh, something you do to create um, art, whether it's drawing or writing um, to take a break and, and maybe dabble in some other practices or just rest and uh, chill and, and relax, go outside, um, stuff like that. Anyways, this main part of this video I wanted to talk about was, by the way, I'm in a hot tub right now. This will be my last time in this hot tub until I probably move over to Newport Beach, which I'm really looking forward to. And um, yeah, my main purpose of this video is actually about motivation because I find that I'm pretty self-motivated and I have a lot of discipline um, and I don't really need accountability to do my practices because I'm so like happy to do them every day and not to do them because they actually make me happy, but just happy and excited to get on my mat, get on my hands, sit on my butt, and um, yeah, I just really like doing it. So, um, but I know that that's not a very common thing, and I actually have the time to do that because I don't have kids. I'm not, and I'm not married. Um, I don't have all these responsibilities that take up a lot of my time. But if you do love something, you will make time for it, no matter what. That's something that I've learned. There's no such thing as not having enough time. But if you're not feeling motivated, or you're feeling frustrated because whatever it is you're not excelling and growing and evolving and progressing at, that taking a break is monumental for growth. And I learned that with hand balancing. Um, I was like frustrated every single day because I, I fall like a lot. So <laughs> I got pretty used to falling, but not, I noticed I was getting really frustrated and, and my flexibility wasn't improving that much. And you know, these things are very frustrating. We put so much time into something and so much effort and yeah, this getting stuck happens. So taking my break and then because of my injury and then going back to my handstand, I noticed that I stopped being frustrated when I fell because I knew that I was just gonna do it again and fall again. Um, so in your practice, if, if you're on the side of the tree where you're like me, it's good to take a little bit of a break and let the muscles fully heal, let the joints and the tendons fully heal because that stuff can take up to really like a week if you practice really freaking hard. And if you're on the other side of the tree, which is most people I would say who, you know, have a hard time being motivated. So, you know, it's January, like the New Year's resolution, everybody wants to get in really good shape and get really healthy. And then, you know, after three weeks, those fully crowded gyms and parking lots are now empty. And it's like, why is that? Why does that motivation, why does that discipline, why does that consistency fall short? And I think it has a lot to do with 
not being established in your community and connected to people that go to your gym or go to your yoga studio. And that's the power in, of uh, community and the power of, of uh, fellowship and um, accountability. So I want to encourage you that you do your practice or you do your workouts with a friend, with a family member, with somebody that is also having the same um, values and goals and aspects of what it is that you're trying to improve on. It could be like, I just want to look better in a t-shirt. So then you just work out your arms and lift weights. But if that's not your goal and you're like me and you just want to move really well and be able to bring in balance um, with your body, like I really am, my goal this year is to not only have really um, flexible muscles and strong muscles, but being an, and mobile in and out of things and, and, and having control, but I really am looking this year to progress my balance in my practice. That's my mission this year for myself and my own practice. And this does take a lot of being able to take a step back and it's so much with the mind. That's like the biggest part of uh, the practice with balancing is the mind. If the mind is calm and the breath is calm through the nose, then balance in the body is easier to um, embody and to be, be able to create, there we go, creating balance. Um, and the other thing I know is as we get older as people, we lose balance. That's the first thing that really goes like simply putting on a shoe. When we put on a shoe, it could be hard to balance doing that. I don't know if you guys can hear me. My hand's been on the microphone. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, but yeah, that's all I'm gonna say for this video, man. Keep keep showing up, keep doing the work and you know, don't quit because I'm telling you, once you stop, like all hope is over. Like there's no, there's no more progress that can happen. And you might just be one more, one more practice away from like falling in love with what you're doing and realizing that that's not what's making you happy, but actually having the idea of doing that, it makes you happy. You know, I find motivation before I go to sleep, I watch videos I listen to um, songs and music and look at other people's Spotify playlists and look up new music and this stuff really motivates me and that's that I f I'm pretty happy before I go to practice rather than going to practice to not not uh, be unhappy so happy 2023 you guys I'm really looking forward to posting yoga classes on here flexibility, specialties,